Hey everybody, welcome back to Truth Be Told. I pray that today is a day that you make a decision to surrender it all, give it all to God, and start to live your life according to His will and purpose for your life, that you would walk worthy of His calling in your life, that you would let go, release that old man, and walk in the newness of, of, the, of the, the life that he has purchased for you today in Jesus' name. I want to talk to you about what the Bible talks about. Put off the old man. What do you think he means? Back in the day, when you murdered someone, they would attach the dead corpse to you face to face. So when the decaying, rotting body, when, when that, that corpse would start to decay, you would start to decay from the outside in. Oh my goodness, did you hear what I said? I said, this is exactly what most of us are doing today. Um, we haven't renewed our minds. And when we don't renew our minds, we're literally carrying around. It says the wages of sin are death, right? When uh, we don't believe and we don't act upon what Jesus has already purchased for us, right? To be born again means to be a new creature in Christ. We're in him, right? Then, and then we need to renew our minds. And when we don't, we're literally carrying around that dead corpse, uh, aren't you tired? Doesn't it start smelling after a while? I just, I pray that you understand the knowledge I'm trying to make here. This is what the Bible talks about. We are carrying things that no longer belong to us. Release it today in Jesus' name. Stop carrying around what Jesus already purchased for. He, he suffered and sacrificed. Oh my goodness, so that you wouldn't have to walk around dragging that dead corpse around, baby. You're a new creature, so start to renew your mind so it can... It can, uh, it can align with who you already are inside, right? In Him, in Christ. It's all about Him. So I pray that you receive this today in Jesus' name. That you stop dragging that dead man around, honey, or that dead woman. Whatever it is that's holding you from being in the fullness and being in the presence of God. So that you can, so you can participate and enjoy everything he has for you. I, know, I don't know about you, but I want everything God has for me. So stop uh, allowing Satan to to keep you from what belongs to you okay i love you guys man i am on newness avenue and believing boulevard where are you at holla